This is an outpost guide for Starfield. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started with outposts in this game. Now, these are super complicated. If you thought lockpicking was complicated, that's got nothing compared to this. Lockpicking is like first grade math compared to the outpost. So in this video, I'm going to go over the basics of how to get started, how to build a habitation, some of the basics of how to build this crazy industrial stuff I have around me. But I'm going to try to keep it simple or else this video is going to be like 60 minutes long. I'll probably make follow-up videos about outposts. There's so much to make about outposts. So I'll make a ton of videos about them. So stay tuned for all that. But today we're just going to cover how to get started and how the basics, where to get the supplies, how to make one. So you're going to go to the map. You're going to pick a planet. When you go to a planet, you can see the resources. You can scan a planet when you're flying around it. And then you can see here all the different resources. And if I press R here after scanning, I can see the map of the resources. I can pick an area that has the resources I want. And also keep in mind here, if I click here, cobalt and nickel, both these are deciduous forest. But if I go over here and click this little bit of copper, it's on plateau. So that means copper can't be on the same pl place as the nickel and the cobalt on this world. So when looking for resources, keep that in mind. I won't be able to find all everything basically from there. So anyway, with that in mind, let's pick a spot. So we already have our spot here and maybe I'll make a new one when we get to it. So when you go to make one, you pull out the scanner and down at the bottom left, it says outpost. So you go around, you look for resources. You can see them when you're scanning. I see here's a big cobalt deposit, which is why I built this here. And there's a nickel deposit. And once I was ready, I pressed the R button, whatever on Xbox, it says at the bottom left. And I already, I've already done it, and so it just brings me to this instead. But uh, what you'll place is this little thing over here, and you'll just place it with E, or whatever it says down there at the bottom. So going back to there, go back to there, there's outpost, and then, yeah, it's E to build on this, whatever it is on Xbox, it literally says there at the bottom, build E. So you do that, and you place it, and then you have this thing. Then you can go up to this thing and you can hold R to remove it. You can tap R once to rename it, whatever R is on Xbox, which it says right there. And then build is E. And once you get to build, you get to this build mode, you can put things down. You can also go to a modify mode at the bottom right with tab, which lets you look at things and move them with E or delete them with R or outpost, link, outpost links or whatever and all this stuff that's really complicated that we'll deal with in another video probably more. Um, actually really quick output link is click it and then if I click on a different container and then I can press E and create a link and it'll make it so the resources will move to the last thing in the line first when like getting resources that's what that's about that's the main thing for that anyway at modify lets you move things and stuff now there's a toggle view it's V by default and whatever it is on Xbox it says at the bottom there and it lets you build things in a sky view which is way better also there's a bug right now and if you notice this loading thing I can't do anything with this if you get this bug you can fix that by saving the game and then loading the game back and that will get rid of that bug and then you'll be able to build from the sky view. All right, so I just loaded the game and now I can actually build on these things. Although there's no, you know, can't build in there. There we go. I can build now. So that fixes that. All right, so what we need now is resources. So if we go here and we go to outpost, you'll notice everything we need uses resources, tungsten, aluminum, copper, etc. So the main things, if you're building a house, which is what we'll start with on this, you're going to be building from the structures tab, mainly going to use lead, aluminum, and iron with some titanium, but mainly lead and aluminum are going to be your biggest things. And you're also going to need sealant or adaptive frame for the watchtower. So in order to get these sealant, aluminum, and lead, okay, keep that in mind. Those are your main things. You're going to go to the map, you're going to tab out or back up, whatever, and you're going to go to Alpha Centauri. One of the best places to get some of these basic resources is going to be Jemison. And go to Jemison, and you can go up here and go to the uh, commercial district. And there's a place called uh, UC Distributions. So from here is where it starts you in this area. It's this building right over here. Now, there's other things that you might want to also buy here. There's structural material, I think it was called. And we're going to be buying that as well. And whatever else you think you need, you might just want to write down a list of things. You definitely want to get a shopping list before you go and try to get it all at once and then come back because it takes forever if you go back and forth a million times. I know from experience. So we're going to go here, see what she has for sale, go to resources, and she's going to have, uh, she actually doesn't have aluminum. Oh, she does have aluminum. There it is. Okay, aluminum. And we also needed sealant. So you scroll down to the S, and there was um, sealant. She had sealant. I personally know that I need more titanium, which she doesn't have because I think I bought it just a little bit ago. Um, and so you'll go through here and you'll buy whatever you need. And then after you're done buying whatever you need, then you're going to go sit down right here. And then you're going to press the button at the bottom, whatever it is on Xbox, is B on keyboard. 
wait 24 hours and then buy more and then buy more and go to your ship and store it in your ship and then buy more and keep doing that until you get a t stock of a ton of the materials you need and then you're going to want to go and build so once the 24 hours is up you can get back up and you'll see that the stock has restocked i think the biggest thing is i need seal and also sometimes she has this dialogue that you can't skip and you have to wait and it drives me insane i actually hope they fix that some days it's like the only unskippable one it's weird all right so what does she have for sale go to resources we're going to scroll back down i need to get more sealant you need a ton of sealant in order to build all this stuff i also want to get more titanium now a thing you'll run into is wait if you if you're gonna be doing a lot of colony building one thing i highly recommend getting is going to your skills which you can do from up here in the menu and then there's weightlifting under physical it lets you carry more you definitely want that there's also random gear you can get that'll help and stuff and also don't forget you can go to your companion and you can talk to them whoever you have and trade gear and then you can at the bottom right go to your inventory go to resources and then you can trade them stuff if you need to get rid of some weight so you can fast travel again and then once you can fast travel you can go to your ship by going to the map and clicking the icon like this and then go to your ship and then you can put all your stuff in the cargo hold which by the way i'll also show you real quick how to upgrade the cargo hold so first off though once you're in your ship you can go to the inventory go to this go to cargo hold at the bottom right it's f by default whatever it said down there and then you're going to go to your inventory and go to your resources and then store everything in the cargo hold instead now i have a freighter this thing's insane you don't want to go this insane unless you're really committed to making colonies now most plants have a ship services. I have a video on shipbuilding if you want to check that out. It's in the description of this video, but it's a really long one. The TLDR is talk to this guy, view and modify your ships, and then t pick a ship that you already have that's not crazy, like this one, my main ship. And then you're going to go to the shipbuilder, and you're going to press the add button down here, and then you're going to go to the cargo. You're going to grab cargo bays, and you're going to attach them onto areas to add more cargo. So if you need more cargo, that's how you do that. So now let's actually get to building a colony and let's go through this. So you need to find a planet. You're going to scout out planets. You're going to go to them. You're going to press this button here to scan them and then show the resources with this button is R by default. And then you're going to find a place that has the resources you want and you're going to try to find a good spot. Now this one has an extreme environment. It'll say that once you scan it. And so that means I won't be able to actually use this unless I have a certain skill that you need to know about. So if you go to your inventory and go to skills, there's under science, the final one here is planetary habitation. And this one will make it so you can build outposts on planets with extreme temperatures. And that's what I'm going to need in order to build on this. It'll also increase the maximum number of outposts you can have, which is very, very fun in the late game. All right, so I did that just because I want to build on this planet for real in my actual game once I'm done making this video. And so I'm going to show the resources and I'm going to try to find an area that has a junction of all the resources I want. So if I look around, we can try to find a spot where everything converges somewhere like right here. And I'll just click right there like that and then land. And now we have the job of scouting out for resources, which may take you like potentially hours to find a good spot. And this is where it's really nice if you go to your skills and there's a skill under science called surveying, which makes it so things appear from further away. I don't want to waste more skill points to put it into it, but you could if you wanted to, unless you scan from further away, and it makes this process go much faster. Well, I found the beryllium. I found the other stuff. I didn't find it together, and I could keep looking, but something that I should tell you about is if you don't like the map or don't find it, you can always go back and generate a new one. Go back to the map, show resources. I'm going to try one that's closer to the helium-3, maybe, and you can just click on a different area and then travel to it and it'll generate a new map for you to explore. All right, so I found the spot that I want. There's aluminum here, there's beryllium, there's the rare one over there. There's also some more beryllium over here and there's one over there. Uh, there's no helium three though, which is kind of rough, but um, this looks pretty good to me. So now what I'm gonna do is press R over there and I'm gonna try to put this somewhere in the center of all these resources because it's only so big that you can build the outpost. So from there, you can see now it selects this whole area. Also, there's some kind of thing you should be aware of here. For some reason, this area is restricted right here, and I don't really know why. So this area kind of got screwed over, and I'm going to look for a different one. I don't know what does that, but it does, so be aware of that. So I found a new area with some resources, but I'm missing one of the ones I absolutely want, or I'm not going to build this. So the trick you can do is save the game, and then you can open up the scanner. You can place an outpost real fast with... Okay, I, I can't place an outpost for some reason. So here's something that's insane in this game, by the way. Um, look here, and it says this area is restricted. This area is not. That area over there isn't. These areas are. 
Um, and then these areas aren't over there. And it's like, it makes no sense. So just be aware, the building system, the output system is absolutely garbage, buggy as hell right now on launch. So be aware. All right, so I don't know why some areas are restricted. It's crazy, but there's a trick we can use once we do find an area that's not messed up. So I found this, um, the rare resource again, and I found a good spot here. So what we can do is we can put an outpost down, and then we can go to build. We can use the sky view, and then with, I don't know how to zoom out on Xbox, but on mouse keyboard, it's just like move your mouse from, like you're trying to look down at the ground from up to down. And then you scroll through the extractors, and it'll show you where all the resources are here. And you can see the different resources. And uh, then you can easily see if the resources you want are in the area. And you can also see how to adjust. So from this, I see that I need to take this, remove it, and then I need to open up the scanner and build a new outpost down in the pit right here. And that should give me slightly better coverage of those resources if I line this up right. So now we look and we have helium three back here, which is halfway cut off from the resource garbage. Uh, and then we got aluminum over here, so it got us a lot more of the aluminum. Then we're up to the boundary of the weird broken stuff. And then we also got access to even more beryllium now. So I found a good enough spot for me. I've been looking for an hour, literally an hour. So I'm going to call it right there. We're going we're gonna to use this spot. So we'll do the industrial stuff last. We'll do the basic building houses and stuff first real fast. So a quick way to do this, open the scanner and then press R for outpost. And then I'm going to go way over here because if you do the outpost when you already are at your outpost, then it will uh, just go to the build menu. So I want to get away from my resources for the building. I'm going to go build, say, down here. Let's build down here. All right, so outpost. So we're going to start with structures. Let me save my game first in case anything gets weird because this stuff's super buggy and you definitely want to save often. It'll crash. All sorts of things can go wrong here. All right, so we're going to start off with um, an outpost airlock. So we'll put one of those right here. You can rotate. It's at the bottom, mouse one, mouse two, whatever that is on Xbox. And we can try to get this lined up some which way that makes sense. So we'll put it like this and then press E to build. All right, then we're going to go up on the side of this hill so we can see better. Um, oh, we didn't actually press it the second time. Okay, never mind. We had to press build twice. So we're going to do this and then build and then confirm. And this is going to be really hard on this terrain. Building, you want to find a flat area, and this is there's not much room to work with here. So now I'm going to go down, and I always really like the hydroponics tabs. Um, although there is an issue that you can run into, which is uh, this weird intersects with an existing object thing that can pop up. Okay, so there's just a bug right now in this game um, that you can't build the airlock first, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to delete this now. So delete is... Um, on modify mode, pressing tab, and then hold R to delete. So we can't do that. We have to do that last, unfortunately. So we're going to build the hydroponics lab. I'm going to build... Let's try to build it up high because otherwise we're, we can't build up, but we can kind of build down maybe. So we're going to put that, press E to confirm, and then we can build another. And then we can go over here and we can attempt to build another. Can't really see what I'm doing very well, but we're making it work. So we can build this crazy hydroponics lab. And then we'll also, even with this, we'll run to this this weird, it's like a it's definitely a bug. It just like it'll be like, oh, it intersects with an object. I don't although then again, I guess the my my companion might have been there blocking actually. So we're gonna build this crazy habitation just because I have so many resources for my other planets that gave me iron and aluminum. Alright, so then let me get this last one over here if it'll let me. Okay, it's not going to let me. Let me try one right here, maybe. All right, well, here we go with this crap. Uh, I think elevation is messing this up somehow as well. There's something to do with elevation here, so I don't really know. It's insane. It's bugged as hell. Everything with building is crazy as hell in this game with bugs. So we're going to go ahead and just put that there, and then we're going to build this here, which what in the world is happening with that staircase? There is no staircase. Okay, it was just a visual bug. All right, cool. So we got it. Now we can go inside of this thing. Open up the airlock and we have our habitation. So we have this cool habitation. This is, I, I just love these ones. I like these ones a lot. All right. So then we're going to pull out the scanner again, press R to build and we can go inside of here and we can change the categories. I'm going to put down, um, an industrial workbench, right? We're just going to put down this, this room will be the manufacturing room. Uh, I don't have cosmetics, so I can't put that one. Um, I have adhesive. I don't want to put that down just yet, but I could put that down. 
Um, and then we go over here to furniture. So let's go over this next room. Let's make like a furnished room. So I'm going to put in, you know, a couch right here. And then we can put in, what else would be here? A table. Uh, that's a big table. Coffee table. There we go. Structural and aluminum. Be aware of those resources. And lining it up is almost impossible sometimes. And it's going to make people who have that eye for not like wanting things messed up. They're going to lose their minds over this stuff. Uh, we're going to put a table over here in the corner. And then we'll put down, I don't know if there's even a chair for it. Uh, I wonder if the refrigerator is usable. I don't need flooring to find out. Uh, we have a wall cabinet, which I don't think can go on any of these walls. This doesn't even work in this structure. Uh, we have a cabinet for the floor. Nothing can go inside of that. So you get the point of furniture. The most important things as far as, far as utility from here are going to be storage crates. So I'll put, go in this next room. Or actually, this first room will make a storage room in theory. So we'll put a storage box, a storage crate right here. And we'll put a storage crate over here and put one right here. Um, and then there's nothing else really useful right here. The biggest things are going to be storage crates. And then um, I, I don't know if we can actually use the weapon racks and stuff, but but maybe we can. The helmet display. Let's let's try out the helmet display. Let's see if it's actually usable. I've never actually put one down. So we're going to do that. We're going to back out of this. We're going to open it up. Yeah, we can. We can take a helmet and we can go to our inventory and we can go to helmets and we can store it. And will it visually store it? Even visually stores it just like we find in the loot. So that's pretty cool. All right. So then the last thing here that we want to talk about in this is uh, before we go to the industrial stuff is we're going to need uh, uh, workbenches. So make sure you have a research lab and things like that in your actual place if you want. You don't, you don't need it. That's, that's everything that's usable. It's crafting. And then furniture is just cosmetic other than sitting in a chair is actually useful. And then decorations has the storage boxes and some lights and stuff that can be usable. All right. So with that out of the way, that's how to build a habitation and it's bugged as hell. So if it does that connection thing, you know, it's just a bug and it's garbage. It's really bad. Like the, I've had so many crashes and problems and issues with the system while trying to use it. All right. So let's get into building this stuff. So we're going to open this up the outpost thing. We're gonna take a look at these. So we have europium, beryllium, aluminum, and helium three. And I'm gonna re extracting all these. Now you'll see the top left, the resources we need. Well, some of these will say power. So what we need is we need a source of power. So we go to the next tab and there's power. There's solar array. Some will have wind turbines, but there's no atmosphere on this planet. So there's no wind turbine option. And there's fuel generators, which you'll have to connect to a helium three source, which it could be on some planets, your only way to get power. Now, I'm not going to build any of those. I don't even have the Tau grade rheostats right now. But I have the things to build the solar arrays. So I can actually put the solar arrays on my building, but that's going to look really, really ugly. So I just want to go over here and make sure I'm not overlapping my resource. I don't want to, you know, clog it up with buildings. So I think I have a big blank spot over here for power. Now, you don't need the power to be anywhere connected to anything. It just needs to be in the zone. So we're going to go over here and build solar arrays like crazy. I'm going to build one there. One there. I'm going to need a lot of these for this place. So we're just going to... It's so hard when there's gravity and I can't just float in the air. All right. Build that. Build that. I'm not even caring what it looks like. I mean, you can make yours all nice and neat if you want. It's up to you. Uh, and then you can see at the bottom right, it says total power 72. So now we know how much power we have. So I have enough for seven of these crazy ones. So I have uh, the basic ones. You'll have the basic ones here, right? But it says one of two at the top right. If you look at the um, bottom, it says variance Q and T, whatever that is on Xbox. I can go and swap it to the next version. In order to unlock those versions, you're going to need a research station. Let me see if I have the resources to throw one down. You can also get a thing in your ship to build a research station by having um, an engineering lab or something like that. Or some, there are some two by one piece that would have it. Anyway, go in here, outpost, and then let's go to the uh, crafting and then a research lab and then put down a research lab. So research lab, it will let you research new things. You'll also need to get skills. You'll need outpost engineering, which will let you get more and more stuff that you can uh, construct and stuff and research. And once we have outpost engineering high enough, which we'll just need two for the basic stuff, we can go into here and go to outpost development and there'll be things to research. I've already researched manufacturing two, research extraction one. 
Uh, I want to research this sometime when I'm not making this video, and I'm going to start making the more industrial ones to, you know, get more resources. So that's how you get more stuff is all in here. So you get domestication, horticulture, that's a botany, a zoology, it all applies. You need required skills you will see up here. So that's how you get all the stuff unlocked for crazier industrial stuff. And then we're going to go back out here, and we're going to put down a bunch of stuff. So we're going to open this back up now. So we have power. We're going to go to this again. Now we're going to go to the view, and hopefully it's not bugged. If it is, just save and load the game. So I know for this one, I'm going to need the Helium 3. So I go to the Helium 3 extractor, and then I'm going to press T to go to the other variant. Okay, the super variant of it needs v Vanadium and Reactive Gauge, which I don't have any on me. So I'll just deal with that later. Uh, or I could place a, a smaller one that uses, you know, less, but I'll, I don't know. I'll just deal with it later. Um, and then Aluminum... Okay, we're going to go over here. I'm going to put down aluminum. Now, from my experience, and this could be wrong, but I don't think it's wrong, is for the aluminum one, uh, I don't have the isotopic coolant. So actually, cut that short. We're going to just really quick throw down a workbench in the middle of nowhere. Where's my, my outpost thing? I don't even know where it is anymore. Here it is. Okay. So we're just going to throw down an industrial workbench just right down here. And I'm going to use this real fast in order to make that, I think it was isotopic coolant. I have the materials, but I don't have the coolant. So we're just going to go ahead and make eight of these. I'm going to have to go buy more stuff, unfortunately. But I'll do that when I'm not recording or after the video. We'll see. All right, so now we go back to that. Now we should be able to build the higher level aluminum extractor. We're going to change the view again with V. And we're going to go over here. And now important to know with these, from my experience, you don't need this circle to be inside of the circle. Uh, they produce the same amount of resources no matter what, as far as I'm aware when I tested at least. That's how it worked. So you just want to try to cram as many in there as you can. So you want to start on an edge and like over here and then build one and then like do the next one like this or something, right? And you just want to keep doing them all like that. That's like the goal, ideally. Um, so now the beryllium, I'm going to want beryllium. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing with the beryllium. So we're going to put it right on the edge right there. And then um, I need to make go get more stuff, so I'm just going to deal with it after the video. But let's put down the europium, and we can start again like on an edge or something. So we'll put it like way over here and see if then maybe we can cram more of them together. So now we've got a bunch of resource extraction. We don't have the healing three, but that's fine. So now what you need is you need to put down uh, storage. So I have better storage from that better research. And there's solid storage, there's liquid storage, there's gas storage, there's uh, warehouses for manufactured goods, and each of these matter for what the resources is. Now, I think all these are solids. I don't know about the europium, but I know the beryllium and aluminum, I'm pretty sure are solids. So, you can put these wherever you want, whichever way you want. So, I'm going to just go over here, and let me make sure it's not getting in the way of my helium. Okay, I don't want to get in the way of the helium, or... The europium, although you can put it over the europium. It's not a big deal. You just want to make sure that there's room for the final thing. So this this area is already covered. I'm not worried about this. Um, so we're going to go here. We're going to put down solid storage. And I'm going to put in the better ones. And then I'm going to zoom this in a little bit by looking, doing basically looking up. And then we're going to rotate it with the mouse wheel. Or with not mouse wheel, with uh, left click, right click. And then we're going to try to put in a bunch of storage here. So... We're going to put in at this angle like this, put in storage, and I'm going to put one, two, three. Oh, it's intersecting with another object. That's another bug here, and unfortunately, that's just, that's it. That's just, that's, that's a bug. Um, so I'm going to have to try to redo this, and you can see this is where it, it falls apart. This is where everything gets really bad with this stuff. Um, so in order to fix this, I need to go to modify mode and then hold R to delete. Alright, at delete. So, one way that I've been able to circumvent this before, and we'll see if I can do it now, we'll go back to build, and we'll go to solid, and then get the better one, we'll rotate it, and we'll start from the other side then. So we'll start, like, over here, and see if it'll let me go this way with it. Sometimes elevation's the issue, but we'll see. So put four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten. And then let's do another row of them if I can. The auto snapping stuff is really crazy though, so we'll see. Um, and then I need to make sure these don't, they're not gonna run into each other, hopefully. So lining this up is really, really hard. Um, look at that, look how hard that is. Okay, put one there and let's see if these ones are bugged. 
All right, these are good. So we're gonna put ten of them. They are slowly intersecting though. Uh, we're missing iron. I'm gonna go grab some iron real fast from my other planet. Oh, so I went and got a bunch more resources. So we're gonna go ahead and, and try to finish these off. Also, left clicking here will switch what side it goes on, where it goes. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't even realize that till now. I right, put that there. Put that there. And then we're gonna put down one last row as fast as I can here. Okay, one game, please. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll just stop at eight or something for that one. I don't know where the other one, I don't want it to overlap. We'll go to nine. Okay, so now with that done, we go to modify mode instead. We're going to go over to this and we're going to, at the bottom right, it says create output link. I don't know what it's on Xbox, but it's right click on mouse and keyboard, right click, and then we're gonna put it on the last one here. In this case, put it whichever one you want. But in my case, I'm gonna look at this one and then press create output link at the bottom, which is E on keyboard. Okay, we're gonna put the aluminums into that first storage. So that one goes from there to there. It'll automatically, if you don't do it, it won't keep very much. The stations themselves can only carry like 30. All right, the europium, we're gonna put in this one over here. I know we're crisscrossing wires. It'll probably bother some people, but that's how I'm gonna organize it. And then the beryllium is gonna go into this middle one. All right, now we need to connect the storage crate. So we're gonna right click this, press E there, right click that, press E there, right click E, right click E, right click E, or whatever it is on Xbox. And that way it'll fill all of them and then go to that last one. But we don't want them to fill each other. We want to keep them separate. In my case, I want to keep them separate at least. Oh, geez. I just linked wrong. Well, that will forever be linked wrong because I don't know how to undo it for shipping crates without just uh, deleting them. So, um, yeah, be very careful. I was trying to go fast, but then you can mess things up. All right. So once these are all connected. Oh, my God. That's so hard to do from view mode. I should have zoomed in. All right. Now, when we go over to this, hopefully we'll already have some in here to show you. Looks like we do. You see a percentage of how full it is. I already have 26 aluminum in here. And I have 8 beryllium in there. And I have 5 europium in there. So we are gathering resources now. So that's how to gather resources and then collect them. Now, I'm going to try to go faster through this next stuff because videos are like half an hour long at this point. So now we need to go to the... There's a bunch of stuff, but there's a fabrication bench. So we could put a fabrication bench down right here. And if we had the correct resources, we could go into the build mode and then we could modify mode, right click, and then connect them to this fabrication bench like this. But also we need to have the correct thing on first. It'll reset them all when we change it. So I don't have anything I can actually make from these things, I don't think. So if I did though, say this thing, it would break all the connections. And then if I had beryllium in one copper in another, I could be like, okay, go to the build mode and then say this was beryllium or say this was copper. I'd be like, all right, connect the copper. All right, connect the beryllium. And now this thing will build something, right? And then I could also uh, go in here and then go to build mode and then go to the warehouse. And this will build, you know, store manufactured stuff. And I could do the same thing as before. I could build a billion of them like that. And then I can go in here and go to modify mode. And then I can right click it. Oh, sorry. Modify mode, right click it, and then press E. And then anything that's manufactured will move into the storage. And we do the same thing as we did for the other stuff, but into storing this stuff. And then the next step you would take would be go to build mode, go to view mode. Um, somehow I got rid of the UI. I don't know what button I pressed. And then we would go into here and we would build some other crazy stuff. So we would build, let me see where my resources are, because I'm actually going to want to build one of these. Uh, so we got beryllium there. And then the aluminum's here. I don't know where the boundary is of... Okay, I think we're clear. No, we're not clear over there. So we know we got to find a clearing here, which I used on habitation, foolishly. Um, there's not going to be enough room for this, maybe, but we'll see. So what we want to build is we want to build a landing pad with ship builder. So I'm not going to have any room for this because I did not plan ahead, like, at all. Um, so I'm going to look around and see if I can find a way or somewhere to put this since my outpost is kind of, uh, cheated because of that bug where like half of it's unusable. So because of habitation, the only place I'm going to fit this thing is going to be right here. So we're going to put it right there. This is already lagging out the game. I better save the game before it crashes. It's, it's going to crash. Maybe it's bad. I've had them crash tons of times. All right. So now we're going to open this back up, go back to the outpost again, go back to view mode. So now we have this, our ship can land here. Now these can be bugged right now on launch really bad and you'll land your ship and they won't actually land. I'm going to test it out right now. So we're going to fly to a different landing area. 
and then we're gonna fly back all right so when we fly back it puts us back in the colony and it looks like this one is bugged which sucks ass for the future for me this is gonna be terrible every time i go here so what happens when you have a bugged one at least right now on launch it's bugged as shit so there's my ship over there instead i have to go here i have to activate go to view and modify ships pick a different ship make it my home ship and then go back to my original ship and then make that my home ship and i have to do this for a very specific reason i have to get that to be here that needs to be here so then for this next part so that's how you work around that bug by the way which sucks but at least there's a workaround then we go back to view mode we need from one of these there is a where is this thing i can't remember what a transfer container under storage so we just want to put this it doesn't have to be next to the landing pad we can just put it wherever so i'm going to go ahead and put it say right back here we'll put it right next to this other thing all right we're going to build this transfer container so now what that does is i can go over here in build mode and i can go to modify mode i mean and i could say take the manufactured goods they're stored and then also if there's a, a you know this is overflow at this point if i do this so we're going to take this we're going to connect it to the transfer container and then it will automatically fill the transfer container with stuff and if the transfer container is full then it'll back storage into the storage here and whatever else we have connect all the storage we have connected and that's how we would transfer things to that which we'll talk about why we're doing that in a sec but i'm actually going to transfer some things that you'll be able to see then so we're going to transfer this we're going to transfer this and we're going to transfer this all right, so now the reason we did that is it should hopefully move stuff into here. Let's see if it did. All right, our stuff's in there now. And if stuff's in there and our ship is on that thing over there, that landing pad, then we can go to our inventory, click on this, go to here and go to the cargo hold. And then it'll let us just go to our outpost right here. It'll have a second one for the outpost. And we can just move the stuff to the ship like that and it goes straight to the ship without us having to walk around and move it back and forth and if you have a ton of stuff and it's all backlogged like say right here say i had all these storages completely full this little transfer can only hold a little bit at a time so what will end up happening is you'll go to your inventory you'll go to here you'll go to the cargo hold and you'll go to the outpost and you'll put it away and then you'll back out to here and then you'll go back to the cargo hold again and then go back to the leviathan again and it will refresh it so if you've like thousands to do you'll get in this this rhythm of going tab f q q e e e e tab f f or f once and then you know q q e e e tab f and then repeat and that's the fastest way to get the resources transferred into the ship if you're going to transfer them into the ship the other option is to build a cargo link this is under the miscellaneous tab and I'm going to put a cargo link over here to show you how this works. So you'll need one at each colony. And really quick looking at it, that again, there's two different kinds. So if you're going to be in the same solar system, same star system, so I can't see any moons or anything, but with anything around that sun up there, if you're going to do anything around the same sun, then you'll only need to use the cargo link. But if you're going to go from one solar system to another, you're going to need the cargo link inter system. And that is why you'll need helium-3. That's why on this one I need helium-3. I'm probably going to have to delete this and replace this with the helium-3 one, but I need comm relays and stuff. Because um, I'm eventually going to have this ship this stuff from here to another world in a different solar system. But if it's the same solar system, you can use cargo link. And then the way this works is you can go to modify mode, and you can take from whatever container is like the final endpoint of a container system, like this one. I can connect it to this one right here. At the top left, you can see it says... Um, this is a cargo link and this is a cargo link oh it doesn't say which one's which okay never mind i thought it would say which one was outgoing which one's ingoing well the red one's outgoing so we're going to connect it to the red one and when you're not doing it you use mouse and there it says outgoing now it says it when i'm not doing the you know connection and what it'll do is it will load up resources into there and when it's full it'll back up down the line to that and then that, that fill all this but if, if there's you know it'll go that first and then that because of the way i ordered it and then we'll go to here and I don't know if there's any in here right now, but the resources will fill in there. The reason it's not filling is because I also have it connected to that transfer container. But um, yeah, so it'll start filling. And then you'll go over to this and you'll activate this control console and you'll find other outposts in the same star system and you'll be able to link them. Now, I can't show you on this one, but I can show you on my other outpost. So welcome to my iron and aluminum outpost. Uh, there's only aluminum here. I'm transferring iron from another place. So that's my storage iron on the right, aluminum on the left. 
And here, what I do, I have iron incoming, so this is the place receiving the iron. And when you go to this thing now, because this one's on a different system with two different ones, it'll have this thing where you can link them. You can also go here and press R down at the bottom, remove link, and remove. And then here you could press, uh, select it, and then make a link. So if you have multiple places, you can pick which outpost and which cargo link you want to connect these to. And once they're connected, a ship will come, although it's not here right now. A ship will come, it'll land, it will pick up whatever's in the outgoing, and then it'll fly away to the other one. And then on the receiving plan, it will land, and it'll drop off everything it has into that one's incoming. And then while it's there, it'll grab everything from that planet's outgoing and then leave. So every time it lands, well, it just spawned in. What the hell? Every time it lands, it takes everything from outgoing and puts everything it has on it in ingoing. So it's just a cycling system, basically. And there's a way to daisy chain these and do all sorts of stuff in order to use these more complex. I just wanted to get you introduced to it as far as how to, re you know, manage your resources, move things so that you can, you know, move things across the solar system and make tons of stuff. And then there are also other things near scan booster that let you scan further, makes it easier to keep track of resources. Kind of useless though in my mind. Uh, mission board, you can have your own mission board, self service bounty clearance. A crew station lets you, you know, put crew into the stage, into this outpost and, you know, be used here. And then other than that, there's defenses. If you're on a planet with tons of animals and they're constantly pestering you, you can put down turrets. And then other than that, you can get more complicated fabricators and then make more complex stuff that uses way more complex resources and make an insane, like, you know, budget factorio video game out of this. And then back to the warehouses, there's powered switches and things. I haven't really messed with them too much. Lights, and that's about it. So I know this is an extremely long video, guys. I know this was super, super long. I tried to go super fast. That's why I was talking so fast because there's just so much to cover, man. It's so bad. There's so much to go through. Like, I'm going to make more videos about Outposts. This was like the crash course intro to just here's how everything works roughly. But there's so much more complex stuff you can do with all this manufacturing and stuff. And I'll be covering that in later videos. But hopefully this one was able to help you out, guys. Hopefully you got through it all right. It was like literally like taking, you know, an entire class, like a college class on history or some random thing. That's what it feels like. I had to make like a college course for you on this thing. Um, but hopefully that course was able to help you out. Hopefully now you understand it better. Hopefully now you'll be able to get out there in the universe, make your own colonies, do, you know, resource extraction and manufacturing and have some fun making outposts in Starfield.